One of the most stressful things that can happen in your life right now is not COVID. It's forgetting your Windows password. And you know what's hotter than a Texas summer? Tech tips, baby. Nico knows tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech. Number one channel with the news on check. Password issues in Windows 10 and 11 are probably the most common requests I get on the channel. And I was also talking to my buddy Scott over at Ask Your Computer Guy. You should check out his channel, by the way. And he's also receiving a ton of requests regarding password lockout on Windows 10 and 11. And we need two things in order to bypass your Windows password. First, you need a USB drive and a piece of software. Now, the tool that we're going to use today is PassFab for WinKey. You can get it at the link in description. We have a free trial here and you can also buy the standard. Right now there's actually a promo. This is normally around $40 and the professional is around $50, but right now you can get it for $19.95 and they do have a money back guarantee. We're going to go ahead and get the trial. I already have it downloaded. Once you have it, we can go ahead and open it. And then this window will come up. We'll go ahead and hit install. And we're going to use this program to create our bootable flash drive so that we can bypass the Windows password. Once it's done installing, you can go ahead and click Start. And after you click Start, it's automatically going to open up a web page and take you to this guide here, which is going to teach you what I'm going to teach you right now. Now, once you get to this screen, go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive into your computer. Once your flash drive is in your computer, make sure that it doesn't have anything important on it because this is going to wipe the flash drive and make it a bootable mini OS. Hold up one minute. I don't want you to be misled into thinking this is a free utility. The trial version will let you test out the software, but in order to reset or change your password or create new accounts, the other nice features of the software, you will need a paid license. However, it is reasonably priced. The PassFab 4Win Key comes in four versions, Standard, Professional, Enterprise, and Ultimate. Professional is the one that I'm using right now because it lets you put it on a USB flash drive. Standard will only let you put it on a burnable CD or DVD, and it also will only remove the password of a local account, and it won't work on Windows 10 server. So Professional is currently $29.95, down from $59.99, and right now, my viewers, if you use the link in description, also get a free gift of the Product Key Recovery Tool, which will let you recover the product keys of Windows Windows, Office, and other software. After you've inserted your USB and you're sure that there's no important data on it, you can go ahead and select USB flash drive for this tutorial. Alternatively, you can use a burnable CD or DVD up here. Then you want to make sure that the flash drive is not your hard drive or any other USB drives that are not important, very important. You don't want to use an external hard drive that you have a lot of data on, so make sure it is, it is the correct one. In my case, it's a PNY USB 3.0 flash drive and it's 64 gigs. This is the one that I want to use. You don't need a 64 gig, you could even get away with a 2 gig in this case. Then we'll click next. And of course it's giving us the warning that all of the data will be removed from this drive. Again, I already gave you this warning. Very careful. Then it's going to burn the USB and make it a bootable tool for us. And once you get to this screen, essentially the USB flash drive is ready. This tool tip here is telling you which keys during reboot on your target machine that you need to bypass the password of. This is how you're going to get to the BIOS because you're going to need to tell your computer to boot off of the USB drive instead of your typical SSD or hard disk drive where Windows is. Now that you're done making your bootable tool, you can take it from this computer over to the target computer that has the password that you need to bypass. Hopefully the computer belongs to you, but if it doesn't, we won't tell anybody. Now from the target computer, insert the USB drive with the computer powered off, and then as you power on the machine with the USB drive inserted, enter your BIOS and then select it to where it's going to boot off this flash drive instead of your hard drive or SSD. Now depending on who your manufacturer is, you need to go into your BIOS and then choose to boot from USB. When you get to this menu, you'll select your operating system, in my case it's Win 10 Pro, then click Next. Here you'll see all of the accounts on the machine, Administrator, Guest, Nico, Default Account. I'm going to go ahead and select myself, Nico. And then you can remove the account password. With Professional, you can, or can remove it. You can delete the account altogether. If you have the higher levels above Professional, you can reset the account password or even create a new account. Once you've selected Remove Account Password, we can click Next. And now it is removing the password from the account. The account is going to be there, but it won't require a password now. After you get to this point, you can click Reboot. 
And that's that, you have done it, congratulations. You can now just click sign into your account. It's not even gonna require a password. And you now have a bootable tool that you can use to remove Windows passwords if you have the professional version. You can use it on a USB flash drive. If you have the higher level versions, I believe Ultimate, that one can be worked on domain accounts, online accounts, everything, and it'll even work on server operating systems. So that one's truly a powerhouse. But everyone that's in this industry or anyone who works on machines or anyone who's just been locked out of their account definitely needs to have a bootable reset tool. I have several and this is one of them. I think you should too. You can get the link in description. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you next time.